Okay, I found the microwave. And I'm going to see if I can find some copper inside of it. Otherwise, I get nothing a pound for it. So, first thing I'm going to do is what I always do is I'm going to take the cord off. Let's see what we got here. Find a. I'm going to start keeping all the wire right here. And now I'm going to take off all the screws that I can to get inside of it. And I hang on even to the screws. I eventually put them in a coffee can and get five more pounds of metal. Really a lot of a trouble. Oh, wow. Also, these are uh, Allen wrench with the stars. I'm gonna take off as many screws on the outside so that I can find even if they're not part of the shell housing because who knows there might be a fan inside. Let's look over here. Let's see what I got on the bottom. Okay, let's see if I got it loose. I'm used to scrapping, so I save everything. Right away, I see copper wire hiding inside there. I just gotta beat these parts off. See what it takes to uh, tear this stuff up. inside here all kinds of copper look at this and um, like I say first thing I try to do is take all the screws out that I can no matter where they're at and then uh, here's some more sometimes there's no reason to take any screws out but I try to save every single part look at this now there's some more screws hiding. Some kind of a frame, I think. I don't realize there's some parts inside one of these things. Now I'm going to start saving the wire. You know that I'm hanging on to all motherboards. And look at that nice piece of copper in there. Copper here. Let's see if I can put it up here. I'm gonna cut everything out. Oh, I think something hiding in there. I don't know what it is. Oh, look at that nice piece of copper hiding in there. <laughs> I normally take the fan blade and throw that away. It's got a nice little weight. It's got some magnesium in it. It's got an electric motor. Let's see what else I can find. I don't know what that solenoid is down there, but I'm going to take it out. I don't know if you can see it. A lot of scrapyards are interested in everything nowadays. They didn't used to be. Okay, I got a solenoid. I don't know if 
Just keep at it. Let's see if some more of the wires to cut. Another piece of copper down there. I don't know what that is, but I'll get to it in a minute. I don't know if you guys know, I've never scrapped a microwave oven to this degree before. Just with the price of copper starting to soar, you want to get all the copper out of it you can. I'm making like 30 cuts here. A tiny little bit of a motherboard in there. I'm gonna eventually get that out too. Add it to my collection. Okay, let's see if we can rip this off. Yeah. There's some more screws right there. Then I'm gonna try to take all these out and see what I can find. I try to keep these motherboards together a lot more than, a lot better than having a bunch of scrap pieces. And then the guy at the junkyard is going to say fine. There's a lot of screws here. I tell you, I've tried scrapping with a hand screwdriver before. It's just so much work. There's a clip holding this. This and it should pop up. Yeah. This will pop up. That's actually a piece of motherboard there too, but right now I'm just going to put the parts here. But see this tiny piece of motherboard here? I try to get them all. They um, add up and make weight if they're easy enough to take out. Okay. Steel. I don't know if there's a motherboard or not there, but I'm going to just add it to the pile. Okay, now, more screws hiding here. Okay, that's not much. Starting to get some wires together here. Here's some more screws on this side. You just gotta look for them. Okay, well that doesn't want to come out because even know what this is but a lot of times when you take it down to the scrapping guy it's, oh yeah there's some copper hiding in there and first thing I'm gonna do is go for getting every bit of copper out of here no matter what there's a piece there's another piece There's a cell, um, magnesium in here. I think you can just untwist that and take it right out. Doesn't matter if you break it or not, you're just saving up the weight. That's a piece of magnesium. I, say, I don't know what this is. Let's see what else I can find in this microwave part here. And at the top, it looks like it's brass. Let's see. Oh wow. Now that's that's steel. Here's a magnet. Look at that, it just came right off. Okay, and here's some aluminum. Oh, I can't believe how easy this is coming. Look at this. There's another magnet here. Let's see what's holding it in place. I don't mind breaking these. Pop that off. Look at those. Oh, look at the piece of brass came right off. Am I lucky? Now, we've got... What looks like aluminum here. And I don't know how I'm going to get these off. Okay, 
And this piece looks like it's all aluminum. Look at my magnet's not sticking to it. And even if it's some other metal, it's called aluminum breakage. So here's what we just got. A couple of magnets, a nice piece of brass, a couple of pieces of steel, another piece of aluminum, and there's a little bit of copper left here, which copper's one of the better prices, so I might as well try to get that out. There. I think it's right now. Getting in my favorite tool. Again. There. Okay, now this whole thing's apart. A little piece of copper here. Let's see the last piece in here. Looks like a looks like a pretty big piece and there's the screws hiding on the bottom. I'm surprised I didn't see those a minute ago. sure weighs a lot. Man, look at all the copper in here. I'm going to spend some extra time. Not right this second. I'm going to get all this copper out of here. I'm probably going to do it the old-fashioned way and just start snipping each of these off and fighting them. It looks like it's copper, but now that I cut into it, I find it's aluminum. It's copper plated. Now I'm going to try to cut into this thing here. Oh yeah, this is copper here. So, let me show you what I've got here now. Whole overview. I don't know what that is. And I don't know how it comes out. Okay, I see a fill in there. And then these switches here. I'm going to try to keep these two. So I'm getting these extra little bonus parts here. Okay, I'm getting these extra bonus parts here. You get nothing for plastic. But, um... Okay, well this is the motor that turns the turnstile. And I'm used to, whenever I find a motor, there's going to be copper hiding inside of there someplace. So, spending a little extra time breaking these parts down is always worth it to me. Oh, the gear is here. Why is that a tiny motor? Let me see if I can finish here. I got, I got to get that apart. Okay, I'm not going to play with that, so I'm just going to take it in for motor weight. Okay, and I don't know what these are, but I know normally... Yeah, look at, see this copper hiding in there. I'm try to get all these off. You can see why nobody keeps microwaves, because there's 20... 20 parts like this and when your microwave breaks out you might as well just throw it out you're gonna go get a new one for $60 okay, let me show you what I got I got some steel like this and the plastic stuff I'm not saving so in the meantime Separate some of the plastic that I'm not keeping. I'll show you all these parts I got here. I got some plain copper wire. I've got a, a solenoid. And a, a few pieces of motherboard. It's copper that I still have to work on. Here there's copper that I'm going to take out. I'm not sure what that is, but I might be able to get motor weight for it. I know I can get motor weight for this little one. And I know there's copper hiding in here. And the rest of the steel, 
I'm just gonna throw it in the microwave when I scrap. Throw away the plastic and uh, make sure that I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lose this stuff. Even even a little piece of wire, I hang on to everything. And uh, eventually, I sort it and I get a lot of stuff. And like I said, I even keep these screws here. Right here, there's a few screws. And I'm going to put those in a five gallon coffee can or, you know, a coffee can. There. And that's about it. The screws go over here, the copper goes over here. So don't throw your microwave oven away, spend five or ten minutes tearing it apart. And I still have another ten minutes to get the rest of the copper out. Make make a few dollars off a microwave oven where I only would have made a dollar or fifty cents. Thank you.